It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. In this video, we're gonna show you how to install Unity using Unity Hub on your Mac. So here I'm at unity.com. I'm gonna select get started. You can see Unity is used to make a bunch of great games. You are not a business, so you don't worry about these prices. You're gonna click on individual. You're gonna select personal, and you are a first time user, so you're gonna select start here. There is an error that I encompassed, so I'm gonna show you how to fix that error at the end of the video. But for now, click on start here. So we're gonna click on start here. I'm gonna accept, and I'm gonna download this to my downloads folder. I already have it, so I'm gonna press replace. I'm gonna open this, I'm gonna push agree, and I'm going to install Unity by dragging this into our folder. Next thing I'm gonna do is launch Unity here. Install Unity 29 downloading, installing 10 point gigs of space is currently available on this. Select the install location. I'm gonna click install. Here is the setup. It's downloading right now, but what I want to do is go ahead and create my Unity account. I already have one. And there we go. Downloading Unity is still happening. But here we're gonna start my first game. You can choose any one of these, Lego micro game, first person shooter, cart, platformer. As you get started with Unity, let's start with the top one, Lego micro game. And I'm going to call it Jamie Lego. I'm gonna click continue, verify my age, click continue, I'm gonna push agree. And you can see almost there, when Unity has finished downloading, you will be one step closer to building your first game. You will know it's time to launch Unity button appears, click it, then Unity will import some files. Please be patient as this can take some time. You can see I'm currently at 32%. So we will continue and now we are waiting for Unity to download. I'm getting this weird error, so let's try to do this again. So here we go. Enter name. I'm gonna select. Seems like Unity is ready to go. I'm gonna say Jamie Legos. I'm gonna say Jamie first Lego game. And I'm gonna click continue. I'm gonna do like continue. I'm going to agree. I'm still getting this error, so let's try quitting Unity Hub, reinstalling, but instead of using the wizard, let's just go ahead and skip so we can get to Unity Hub. So back on the Unity download page, and you are a first time user, but some students have experienced issues going through the first time user. So we're actually just going to use returning user and use Unity Hub. So I'm gonna click on go here. I'm going to accept the terms and I'm going to download Unity Hub. I'm gonna go ahead and save it to my downloads and I already have it, I'm gonna replace it. Now I'm going to go ahead and find that location and open it. I'm going to agree. I'm going to drag Unity Hub into applications. And now Unity Hub has been installed. The next step is to actually install Unity from the Unity Hub. So if I open up my once you've downloaded and installed Unity Hub on a Mac, you can see I have Unity Hub right here. I'm just simply going to launch that. Unity Hub app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, I do. I'm going to select open. So this is Unity Hub. You can see I previously had projects here. You will see that you will have no projects. Unity Hub is the location that you will launch all your Unity projects from. You also will add installs of Unity, launch micro games from Unity, and connect to the Unity community. Let's just look at the Unity Hub currently. So here is projects. You will see no projects currently unless you've previously made Unity projects. You also see create a new project by selecting new, typing in your project name, or for example, selecting one of the micro games. For example, the Lego micro game. You could actually download and actually launch to kind of learn Unity. I'll press cancel. Go over here to the next tab from projects. I'm gonna see learn. And here are some of the micro games that you can learn Unity with. 
You can scroll down, see there's some other kits that you can follow along with the tutorials. And also always you want to browse learn.unity.com for more information. These are the projects you can go through, but here's also tutorials. So you can see using cinematics, using the Unity interface, there are a bunch of tutorials on how to actually learn about Unity on the Learn part of Unity Hub. Under Community, you can see you can actually connect with the Unity community, Unity developers all around the world. You can get forums, live help, groups, those type of things. And lastly, under Installs, if you have no installs, you want to make sure that you install a version of Unity. In our course, we're going to be using 2019.4.10. If you wanted to add other Unity installs, you simply click on Add. And for example, I can add the latest version of Unity select next, select the different modules I want to build. Modules are build support. So for example, build for VR, we need Android build support because the Oculus is built on Android. We need to drop that down and make sure that you have Android SDK and NDK tools and OpenJDK selected. If I wanted to build for iOS or tvOS or Mac, you can see I can do that. If I keep going down, I can build games for Windows or Magic Leap. I press next. I would agree to some terms and then you would install another copy of Unity here. You can see I have this version of Unity, but I actually can remove that. So I'm going to select and do uninstall. So it's going to uninstall that version of Unity and I will have no versions of Unity actually working. It launches. And if I try to do new, you'll see it says no editor install. Please install Unity before creating a project. I'm going to dismiss that. In order to install Unity, I'm going to come down here to installs. Right here, again, it says no Unity versions. I'm going to simply click on this area right here, add. And you can add the version that your teacher tells you. For this class, we're going to add this 2019.4.10. I'm going to press next. I'm going to add the check mark for Visual Studio for Mac. I'm also going to drop down this box for Android build support and also select Android SDK and NDK tools and open JDK. These are going to add support. The Android build support is going to help us when we're developing our apps for the Oculus Go. Just to kind of explore, if you were trying to build iOS, or tvOS, or Mac games, or WebGL support, you would also add that functionality right here. So for example, I could add WebGL. Go ahead and press next. You're going to agree, and you're gonna press next again. I have read and agreed to the above terms. I'm gonna press done. Now, Unity Hub is actually going to download and set up this version of Unity inside of Unity Hub. So there's a difference between Unity Hub which is allows you to learn and join the community and install ver different versions of Unity and actually the live program Unity that we will be building our apps in, our VR games in. So we're gonna let this finish installing. You can see Unity has finished downloading and now it's actually installing on the computer. Once it's finished installing, now we're able to launch Unity projects. Now you can see this version of Unity has been installed with Android support and WebGL support. If I wanted to go back and add more support, I can simply click on this little drop down here, add modules, and then add in iOS, TV, Mac, etc. I'm going to close this for now. I want to talk about licensing. So if you've just installed Unity, you need to install a license. You can see I'm currently logged in. I'm going to sign out. And I'm also going to click on settings, click on license management. You need to be logged in to manage your license. I'm going to click on login. This is the screen that should pop up. If it doesn't, try closing it and then you can go to sign in again and it will pop up. You can log in with your Unity ID that you've created or I would suggest using your Google account. I actually have both. So now you can see I am signed in. You can see I have activate new license or manual acti activation. You're going to select active new, new license. You're going to select Unity personal. I do not use Unity in a professional capacity. And then you're going to press done. 
you can see now your license has been successfully activated. I'm going to dismiss this and you should have your activation. Now let's go press back. So that's this video on how to install Unity using Unity Hub.